These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Regional Qualifier matchup. And here we go already. The slow is happening here to Zeus. And we got Karia and Owner and Tuba Level one. all coming in. There's the slam into the wall. Perfect's in a bit of trouble. And he doesn't have flash. He's going to go down to the six already. T1. Not sure if that was a bait or what, but Perfect absolutely over chases and gets punished. And what? speaking of which, we are just going to face check and die. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what they're doing, but Guma has two kills now. Well, I feel like every single point uh, we made up with the draft, kind of out the window now. The situation. Uh, My oh, got one. to a beta tilt, and the fact that out of the... I imagine what, like 10, 12 CS that he could have gotten. He's only gone four. That's not good. Yeah, nice little angle here onto the Senna. Barrel almost definitely going to have to flash. Doesn't even bother. He's just going to take the death and die. Down he goes. That's a kill over to Zeus now. Bloodthirster, and you can have more presence, you know, healing up of any poke. That's not going to happen for a long time now. So we see Kirshik able to get one of the grubs. Perfect being there as a front line, like the rest of the team. Are, are pretty fragile, right? You're looking at maybe Liliac can set up a play like here. Oh, he's going to flash, or rather Satchel out of the way early. And sort of even. Oh. Yeah, Barrel's in a rough <laughs> spot here. He does have a splash. He will flash that one. Here comes BDD. He's just going to be swept away. And he is super low. Barrel as well. A big bop coming over the top, but I think they have the chase potential. One more auto would do it. Baker will get the kill. They have gone very deep for this, though. Ascaria trying, thinking about helping out. He's not level 6 yet. As now Pioshik not going to hit anything. Doesn't a flash. And there's a disengage cone right here. So K2 just had to back away. It's just a kill. Going over here to T1 and yet another successful pick. And KT quickly crumbling here under the pressure. Yeah, this is this is just everything going wrong really in this game. It's 10 minutes into the 3,000 goal lead already. And you're into plenty of picks that scale exceptionally well. On top of that, you know, the center, we talk about the value this pick can have, but if you're behind, people will just die. Like, you won't get a chance to sustain the mob. You know, if, if you want to, uh, you know, dig into the beams, you can say, hey, KT, you're really trying to lower the expectations for themselves. They're doing a great job of that. In like, this series, it's it, it basically looks unwinnable from here. It's, it's not unwinnable, obviously, but it does make you feel like, hey, there was so much hype, so much potential for KT to really you know, do a number to T1 and maybe even take the world spot away. But right now, what we're seeing is T1 are just kind of bopping him over the head. Uh, definitely looking a bit difficult. And now, Death chunked out here. Oh. Wow. Again, doesn't have the blood. Yeah, there's Karia, and he just swings by, hits him once, drops the ignite, and gets the kill. Ignite Buckler. I think he just autoed once and ignited. And that was it. I mean, Def doesn't exist right now. Zeus, does he exist is the question. He's still got a flash. Meanwhile, there's a fight going on between the supports and Kerry is winning that one big time. Can he actually get the kill? Oh. Yes, he can. And now he's on the run here. Might be in a bit of trouble, especially with the TP coming in. But Perfect basically just TPs for nothing. And they eventually kill Kerry while Faker's solo farming Bob. Guma has been extremely accurate with his cues. Can sometimes be difficult with the weird balance mechanics and stuff, but he's basically just plopping it on the heads of every enemy that's in his range. And nobody gets to play the game against his fed Ziggs. Meanwhile, Barrel, well, he's in the game, but he's not really, as he's dead again for the fourth time at 13 minutes. And there's the Satchel coming in, maybe asleep here. There's the Flash as well. He does have teammates nearby, but not quite close enough as Guma finally does get punished. And now Owner will go down as well. And finally, KT gets something on the map. If it overcommit, I was, oh, more happening. Yeah, Karia's just kind of hey, getting hey. in there. And this is actually an Epi because the TP's here, Faker's here as well. Dev is just dead. And now Faker gets the scoop here on a Pioshik. Nice Senna ult to help out. And BDD is desperate, but the Condemned comes in. And the knock into the wall It's exactly what you were talking about. You're just up against the wall forever. And now the vein is going way too deep for this, actually, oh. and will get punished. BDD will survive. And on Skarner, I guess, one of the only junglers as a tank in the jungle to actually still get that item. Uh, Faker is going to take out a turret, and this is the second Drake of the game. It's a Cloud Drake, and already two going in the hands of T1, making it a Mountain Soul on the cards for them. It's T1, but it's definitely been a lot scrappier recently, but now T1 
T1 have already taken all of the outer towers. It's 16 minutes, and it's so easy for them just to look and threaten these tier twos. That's one down already, and they can just repeat this play on the other side of the map. And completely the wrong approach. So You're trying to insulate your top laner, because this has been brutal. And I know obviously the level one impacted as well, but uh, yeah, it's not. Don't let Zayas pick Vayne. It's not just perfect. I think Deft and Barrel have also definitely struggled, but I do think a lot of the effects follow oh, as very BD. nice knockup here. BBE, man, this is one way you can still win the game. As oh, oh the denial from Imperial is insane. It's still going to be a kill, but now they're in a bit of trouble as so many low health bars. We got the TP coming in. Nice stasis from the side of Pyoshi and Barrel is burning down a bit, but nobody has actually died yet. KT doesn't have the best engage at the end of the yeah. day anyway. Also, Perfect, he's got the Frozen Fist and now going towards more armor, but Vayne does true damage and yeah. Fake and Guma do magic damage, so he's not very tanky. He wouldn't be tanky anyway because he's so behind. Nowadays, as Guma is just really not missing anything. It, it really is night and day as well when you compare Guma's individual Zik performance to when, the, when we were at the start of the playoffs, right? And, Given how important of a pick it is on the patch, that shouldn't come as a surprise, but it definitely is a really big reason. Ult. This, this is just... This is not okay. I think if Carrier <laughs> slams Barrel into a wall and then it's just Guma ult, I think Barrel might die to that. But I hope we get to see it for science, obviously. Yeah, by the way, they still had the Rift Herald, so they just saved it until 23 minutes, and now they're using it to push down the mid wave. Just have to rebind, but the rest of T1 are just pushing mid, and this is without Baron, and one that Q does Barrel's whole health bar split amongst you know, three different one. guys. Disgusting, with the Vayne, with the Azir, with the Ziggs, who isn't even hitting it. He's just uh, zoning Yoshik away. That is two abilities, I guess three. Um, just gonna be thrown in, and Perfect's like, I'm here, guys, I'm ready to help. And the Baron's gone. T1 take it down, 24 minutes in. Impressive, because your Siege is already fantastic with just the one guy. And, you know, you have some healing, you have some ability to, <laughs> yeah. But not really. Well, he's not got, got 10,000 gold behind. He's got ult again. With the slow hit from, I think if the slow hits from Ona on Barrel, they can just ult. Yeah. Force a flash. It's so funny, because Barrel is actually healing, but it just doesn't matter. Even the loot and sprog! Oh no, Barrel, oh, Barrel! Oh no! And the ult, you know, optimistic, but they do get the heal. And I, I guess that's something. They already got two inhibitor tra uh, inhibitors, rather, and they're going for number three. And here we go, the Impale comes in, gets double flash away from them, just burning, just eating the summoners as they're trying to get on top of Zeus, and they might just do that, but who cares about Zeus when Gooba is this bad on the Ziggs? And you got the one carry, but you didn't get the other two. BDD desperate to try to take something down. But guys, this game is over, and it is out as T1 are looking to take down game number one in flying fashion here in this finals of the regional qualifiers. It's one last ditch attempt from Def, but this one is done. So 26 and a half minutes, and game one goes to T1. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Regional Qualifier matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.